Mozilla Thunderbird is a free email app where you can configure and manage your email accounts, just similar to Microsoft Outlook. It works on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. In this video, I will show you where to get it, how to install it, and how to configure your email accounts. And I will add some additional comments. The reason why I decided to make this video is because Thunderbird offers an option that may become essential for people who use Microsoft 55 email services. And for some reason, they prefer to keep working with IMAP or POP3 protocols. At the moment that I'm recording this video, Microsoft is completing the process of blocking or disabling what is called basic authentication. All Microsoft 55 email users will need to work with modern authentication, which by the way, is a more secure authentication method. On the other hand, basic authentication is used by Microsoft Outlook to configure an email account as POP3 or IMAP. But since Microsoft 55 is blocking the basic authentication, users will not be able to configure their email account as POP or IMAP in Microsoft Outlook anymore. The problem in this case is that Microsoft Outlook does not support modern authentication for POP3 and IMAP protocols. In other words, if a Microsoft 55 user want to continue using IMAP or POP3, they will need to use a different email app that can work with modern authentication. Well, Mozilla Thunderbird does that. You may be wondering how Microsoft 55 users will work from now on if they want to use Microsoft Outlook. The only option is to configure their email account as Exchange. For many people, it is actually a positive thing. Exchange is a great protocol and it allows users to sync emails, contacts, and calendars on all their devices. By the way, all the email services like Gmail or Google Workspace also work and support with more authentication. If you need an email app on your computer with your Google account, Thunderbird will also work with no issues. Now, let me show you how to get Thunderbird and how to install it in your computer. Within your browser, you can Google Thunderbird and the result should give you access to their website. Or you can also go directly to Thunderbird.net. This is Thunderbird website where you can find detailed information about the email application. You will see this green button, free download, and you will need to click on it. It will immediately start downloading the installation file to your computer. While it is downloading, you will be presented this option to donate. It is up to you. As soon as the downloading is complete, you need to click on the installation file. Depending on your operating systems and the type of protection that you have in your computer, you may get a warning like this one or will be prompted to give permission to proceed with the installation. In this case, I will click on install anyway. The installation process starts. And you will be prompted to select the type of setup, standard or custom. I will select the standard and click on next. Here, I can change the location where the software will be installed. I will use the default. I also ask if I want to use Thunderbird as my default email application. I will uncheck this option. Then click on Install. The actual installation start. Once the installation is complete, I will have the options to launch the app now. Then click on Finish. Thunderbird starts, and the first thing that you need to do is configuring your email account. We will enter our name, our email address, and in this case, and I will start adding a Microsoft 365 email account, and of course the password. You will find the option to configure your email account manually. In this case, since I'm using a Microsoft 365 account, Thunderbird will be able to find all the settings automatically. I will click on continue. We can see that Mozilla Thunderbird has found the configuration settings. It will use the IMAP configuration. Then I will click on Done. 
since Microsoft CTT5 is already using modern authentication, Mozilla Thunderbird also recognized that setting, and I will be prompted to enter my password again. This login pop-up window is the one that I will be presented when modern authentication is used. I will enter my password again and click on Sign In. I will need to approve the permission to access my account. I need to check this option and I click on Accept. The email configuration is now almost complete. I am being asked if I want to use Thunderbird as my default email app. I'm going to click on Skip this integration. My email account is already configured and I can see on the left all the folders that I have in my account. I will now configure a new email account. In this case, it's going to be a Google account, actually a Google Workspace account. Before configuring your Google account, you have to make sure that your account is ready to be configured as IMAP or POP3. In this case, I'm going to configure the email account as IMAP. I will need to click on Settings on the left corner by clicking here on this little wheel. And then I need to click on Account Settings. On Account Settings, I will see this option here, Account Actions. And then click on Add Mail Account. I will enter my name, my email address, and my password. As in the previous opportunity, I will also be able to configure the account manually. In this opportunity, I'm going to use the automatic option. So I click on continue. Thunderbird has found the email settings automatically for this Google account. So I will click on done. Google is also using the modern authentication and Thunderbird has identified that modern authentication can be used. So I click on next and I will enter my email password. Then I click on sign in. I will need to give permission to access my email account so I click on Allow. Configuration of my Google account is now complete. I can click this tab, Account Setup, and also here on Account Settings, and this one as well. As we can see here on the left, we have configured two email accounts, my Microsoft 365 account and also my Google account. I will be able to add multiple email accounts. If I want to add another one, I will need to click on Settings and then Account Settings. And then under Account Actions, I will click on Add Mail Account. In this new email example, I'm going to start the manual configuration. So we will be able to see the different options that we can configure. I will enter again my name, my email address, and my password. As I said before, in this case, I'm going to enter configure manually. I will need to scroll down a little bit and I will find all the settings that I will need to enter. I will need to select the protocol. It could be IMAP or POP3. Since I selected the manual configuration, Thunderbird is not populating the email settings automatically. I will need to know the email settings that I need to use. As you may know, the email settings will vary depending on your email provider. So you will need to enter the host name or incoming mail server, the port, the connection security. This is the type of encryption that your email servers use. It could be none, start TLS or SSL TLS. You will also be able to select what kind of authentication method use your email provider. You will enter the username. For most email providers, the username is your email address. This first set of information is for the incoming server. You will need to do the same for the outgoing server. Once you have entered all the information, you can test if your settings are okay by clicking here. You will also be able to click here on advanced configuration in case your email providers require some advanced configuration. Once all the settings are complete, you will click on done and your email account will be added to your email app. I would like to mention an interesting fact about configuring your email account in an email application like Thunderbird, for example. Once the account is set up and synced with the server, you are actually keeping a copy of all your emails in your computer. 
it is like having a backup of your emails. Thunderbird is an email app that has been available in the market for quite a while, and it does a good job. I find many people using it, and they are very happy with it. If you are looking for a robust and reliable email app, it is a great option, and it is free. I hope you find value in this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up. It helps me to promote and share the message of this channel. If you have any question or comment, please leave it here down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, or want to find it easy again in the future, please hit the subscribe button. It is free, and it helps me to continue creating content like this one. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.